I got some good news and some bad news. I'll give you the good news first. Well, I'll give you the bad news first. Because I feel like the good news is outweighs the bad news. So I'm on some blood. I bet you can't see him now. All of my oak, and I recognize by the other bulls that are with them, are on that uh, hillside. They just walked around. The good news is, he's not with them. Bad news is, not very much blood. But there's more good news. I got lots of lung blood. Well, the blood that I have is lung blood, let's put it that way. I know, obviously, I got one lung. And I'm hoping like hell I either broke that shoulder blade the, going into him, and I stopped in the second, or I just stopped in the second. If you guys remember, I chose that head. Not because my coach makes them in the rain in the USA, which is super cool, but I chose that head because of the tip design. And I knew that if I hit bone in past experience, a design like that is a lot like an ax. You don't sharpen an ax, regardless of what the cartoons say, if you're gonna be splitting wood. And I'm hopefully split some bone. He didn't go down when I hit him. So that makes me think that I didn't hit the front shoulder blade, I hit the back shoulder blade, and if I did, he's toast here somewhere. But you can see kind of where it came down through. He doesn't have a ton of blood showing. <clears throat> but most blood, this looks a little bit red. But most of it has had little bubbles in it. You can see it right there. Some of the rocks. This country's kind of hard to see it in. Oh, here's some more blood then. A little better to show you. I see there's bubbles in it. It's not but great pink. So I'm gonna assume that uh, I definitely got some muscle in there too. But, I mean, I can see the blood to track him. He went down fairly low. He's going across pretty level now. But again, I just watched all my elk travel across the rock slide and up into another hole where I first encountered the giant at. So, he's either somewhere between here and there, or he boogied all the way down to the bottom. 